This video covers basic installation details of Thermon's Terminator DSDE, inline splice, and termination kit. Receiving, storing, and handling. Inspect materials for damage incurred during shipping. Report any damages to the carrier for settlement. Identify parts against the packing list to ensure the proper type and quantity have been received. And, store in a dry location. Use the supply dimensions for the Terminator DSDE to ensure adequate space is available for proper installation. The following kit is required for splice connections and must be ordered separately. Refer to Installation Instructions Form PN50133. These are the recommended tools for installation of the Terminator DSDE. Individuals installing these products are responsible for complying with all applicable safety and health guidelines. Proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be utilized during installation. Contact Thermon if you have any additional questions. At the proposed inline splice or end of circuit location, lay out heating cable on pipe, allowing extra cable for the electrical connections. A minimum of 300 mm or 12 inches of heating cable is required for an expansion loop. A minimum of 300 mm or 12 inches of heating cable is required for electrical connection. For zone type heat tracing with HPT and FP cables, the bus connection should be within 50 mm or 2 inches from the surface of the pipe. Do not exceed heating cable minimum bend radius of 10 mm or 3 8 of an inch at temperatures down to negative 15 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 mm or 1 and 1 quarter inch at temperatures down to negative 60 degrees Celsius or negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the heating cable at a 45 degree angle to aid in piercing the grommet. If the heating cable is mounted on the bottom of the pipe, punch out the weep hole. Slide the expediter toward the pipe while routing the heating cable through the support base entry. Insert the banding guide in the base and snap into place. Secure the expediter to the pipe using the stainless steel pipe band. Important! Do not bend over heating cable. Cut off the end of the heating cable at a 90 degree angle. Leave a minimum of 100 mm or 4 inches for heating cable termination. Terminate heating cable with the appropriate SCTK or PETK termination kit. Refer to the SCTK installation instructions, form PN 50133, or the PETK installation instructions, form PN 50132, for details not addressed here. Push excess cable back through the expediter and tape the cable expansion loop to the pipe. For splice connections, connect bus wires using small wire nuts for BSX, HTSX, and KSX cables, or medium wire nuts for RSX, VSX, HPT, and FP cables. Connect the ground braid wires using a large wire nut. See wiring details for splice connections. Slide the splice cap over the expediter assembly and engage the threads. Rotate the splice cap clockwise and tighten securely making sure the latch mechanism is in the locked position. To remove the splice cap, lift the latch mechanism as shown and unscrew. Be sure to de-energize all power sources before opening the enclosure. Completed Thermon Terminator DSDE inline splice and termination kit. For additional information on this product, visit us on the web at thermon.com.